Welcome to the Daily English News program on Azerbaijan Television with the most important events of the day. I'm Gilad Hatamova. President Ilham Aliyev attended the opening of a new building of the 2000-seat Khirdalan City Secondary School No. 11. Creation of a modern educational infrastructure and the improvement of the material and technical base of schools in the country is a decisive factor in terms of students' access to quality education. A manifestation of this approach is the construction of a new school for 2,000 people in the city of Hurdalan, Apsheron region. Minister of Science and Education Emin Amrulayev and Apsheron District Executive Authority Abdin Farzaliyev informed the head of state of the conditions created at the school. The new school will decrease the density of pupils that has arisen due to population growth in other schools of Hurdalan city. The reforms carried out in recent years under the leadership of President Ilham Aliyev to develop education in the country have led to the rise of this area to a qualitatively new level. All these works also show that state concern in Azerbaijan for the development of education and science is at the highest level. The construction of the school started in 2021. The school has 74 classrooms, 6 laboratories, 8 rooms steam center, computer, labor, military training, foreign language, music, drawing, medical, physics rooms, chemistry and biology laboratories, a library, canteen, 2 PE classrooms and a 388-seat assembly hall. The STEAM project has been implemented in the school since the beginning of the 2019-2020 academic year at the initiative of First Lady Mehriban Aliyeva. Along with teaching pupils to apply scientific and technical knowledge in everyday life through practical exercises, STEAM education also helps fostering engineering skills. It should be noted that the adaptation of the activities of educational institutions, educational programs to modern challenges, the formation of personal potential in accordance with the new labor market are among the priorities of our state. First of all, this is a one of the main priorities of the state policy for the further development of human capital in Azerbaijan, the education of a modern, intelligent and educated young generation.
An integral part of this process is the construction and commissioning of modern schools, as well as the consistent nature of restoration and reconstruction work of educational institutions. On September 12th at about 11.25 a.m., the positions of Azerbaijan Army units stationed in the direction of Havush settlement in the Sherur district of the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic were subjected to fire from small arms by the Armenian Armed Forces units. The Azerbaijan Army units took retaliate for measures in the mentioned directions. Furthermore, our units stationed in the direction of the Sederak settlement of the Sederak district of the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic were subjected to fire as well. According to the Memorandum of Cooperation between Azerbaijan Red Crescent Society and the Russian Red Cross Society, a truck with food and non-food items sent by the Russian Red Cross Society at the initiative of the Russian government to meet the needs of Armenian residents living in the Karabakh economic region of Azerbaijan, which waited for two days in Berda for dispatch, early this morning passed through a checkpoint of Russian peacekeepers temporarily stationed on the territory of Azerbaijan on the Ardan Khan Ken the road. According to information received, the truck with food arrived in Hankandi. The cargo is currently being unloaded at the Propreed warehouse. Despite the problems and provocations committed by the puppet regime of Armenia in the Karabakh region of Azerbaijan, the passage of Russian Red Cross Society struck namely through the Ahdab Hankin Road in coordination with Azerbaijan is regarded as a positive step and important advancement in the direction of the opening of this road, spokesperson of the Azerbaijani Foreign Ministry, Ayhan Hajizadeh, stated. It was further underscored that the Azerbaijani side is ready to create conditions for the transportation of cargo through the ICRC by following the border and customs procedures at the border crossing point of Lachin parallel to the Ardam Hankand Road. Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan in an interview with his country's first channel touched on issue of transportation, the cargo sent by the Russian Red Cross via Ardam Hankin Road. Cargo must reach the destination. If they argue with Russia, the result may not be good. Russia considered it appropriate to transport the cargo via this way, said Pashinyan. The host also asked the Prime Minister why he did not contact the Russian President regarding the change of the border. I first wanted to contact the Kremlin, but the phone conversation did not happen. No matter how much I have to contact Putin, nothing changes anyway. Putin knows the situation better than anyone, Pashinyan answered. Regarding the question about the reaction of Russia to the training of the United States and member of NATO and a member country of the Collective Security Treaty Organization, Pashinyan said that all the Armenia is allied with Russia, it cannot freeze relations with the West. You can get in touch with us by conducting a data via hotline number 0515111956 through which you can report events you encounter as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.